shoot a little video of sort of how to install one of our custom fiberglass Raleigh Sport noses. Uh, we sell a lot of these things, and a lot of these things have been on some pretty uh, high-end cars, uh, notably the Dutch Boys car. And uh, I think one year we went to SEMA, and there was four cars there that had these on there. And, you know, ob the obvious thing is they're light. This thing only weighs three or four pounds. I don't know, five pounds, maybe, maybe. So, anyways, if you don't know already, um, our nose piece incorporates the inner shell uh, of the nose. the chrome piece insert. And one of the cool things that we've got now is these only work with our nose and we were fabricating aluminum ones that we were welding them and whatever. So now we've got these billet ones, center bars that go in here. And then the factory grills just insert into here. So anyways, we're just gonna do a quick video, kind of walk you through how to get started on installing one of these things and, and, and what you need to do uh, to fit them to your car and get good results. Okay, so what we've done here is we've actually inserted the grills and the center divider bar into the, the nose piece. And the reason why we wanna do this first is because when you attach the center bar, it bolts top and bottom and it'll actually change the height of the part. So we've got it fit in there. And what we did is we put the two lower screws into the the grill, the grill lower screws in to attach it to the nose piece so they don't move. And then you kind of, you leave them kind of loose because they're slotted, they can move a little bit each way. And it's a tight fit. Once everything's in there, there's, there's not a whole lot of gap on anything. Everything fits pretty tight. So what you really want to do is get the bottom because your bottom gap along here is way more visible than what you're going to see up at the top. So we've got the two grills inside both sides, lower mounting screws in uh, so we can figure out where the center of the center bar goes. And we've got it relatively close. So then we're gonna go around the back and we're gonna mount this lower mount here. You can see we got the screws through here and uh, we're just using self-drilling screws for now. We'll replace those with the clips that come in the kit uh, shortly. So anyways, we're gonna get that center bar mounted up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we got the grills mounted in here and the center bar mounted in here. And if you look, the gap around everything is, is super good. And these are these are old, old grills that aren't very good. Maybe we'll give you a better background on the floor. Uh, so everything looks pretty good. And, and really, I'll flip it over and show you. <laughs> By putting the center bar in, it really flattens out this plane and this plane and pulls it, it into the right height that it needs to be um, to fit well. And if you notice, we put foam in here and this foam really keeps the part a lot more stable. So anyways, it was, it was a bit of a task to, to do this. It probably took 20 minutes to fit everything. Um, we got just self-drilling screws. We actually have clips that will go over these to securely mount uh, the grills, but you know, everything fits in here. These were all tight and it's, there's not room, any room to spare. I mean, it's like you can see on the sides and all the way around, it's a tight fit. So now once we've got these all in here, the shape of this thing is pretty stable um, because like I said, this, this shape here can move based on that center bar being in here. So this is step one. You're going to put the center bar in first to test fit everything and, and, and fit it to the car, but you need the grills in place to locate the center bar. And so that's what we did. And we've got it all bolted in place. And next up, we'll put it up on the car and see how it looks. Okay, so we have the nose piece on the car and we just have a pair of squeeze clamps 
uh, holding it on. And what you're gonna use to mount it are the tabs that the chrome shell piece mounted to uh, originally to the header panel. And so, as you can see, it's pretty decent, um, just right out of the box. So our gap's a little tight here in the center and our gap's a little bit big on the end because uh, if you look underneath, we're actually touching on the bottom. So we're gonna need to shorten this thing up at the bottom and I'm gonna kind of walk you through in a second kind of what we suggest on how to fit up your gaps. So one of the things that we've worked on is getting this side gap real nice on these things. And our corner gaps here are pretty good. And keep in mind, these things felt like crap or fit like crap. Uh, when we get done with this, uh, we don't have the, the mounts for it in there anymore, but I was gonna stick the factory nose back up on there. Um, but with our setup, you actually remove the two big brackets on either side that the factory nose mounted to, so. All right, so we got the car up in the air and what we wanna do is, is you can see that we've got a pretty good size gap here. And so what we're gonna do is try to use tape to sort of keep the same gap all the way around. And as you can see, it's a bit proud down. And the thing about the way this thing's shaped is as, as you trim the length of it here, the actual height of the part gets gets narrow or side to side and up to down as you start trimming the edges. So that's one of the things you need to take into consideration as well. So we'll pull this thing off and then we'll trim it and we'll put it back on and see how that affects the rest of it. Just work on one area at a time. All right, so we're back from trimming this thing down along the bottom. As you can see, it's, it's a lot closer than what it was. And one of, the, one of the things that we've seen on occasion is this peak being too high on the, on the header panel itself. And so one of the things that you can actually do is take and, and actually just take the front of this thing. Cause this thing could have been hit at some point and that might be why it, it could be, it could be up, but you can actually take this thing and then you get this center bar here and you can loosen it and you can actually take and, and take the and and bend this peak down just a bit uh, to tweak it. And I think once we do that, it's going to be this thing's a fit along the bottom is going to be absolutely perfect. Side gaps pretty decent. That corner is pretty good. And, uh, you know, we'll just keep working our way. All around right. So we've got the nose trimmed up. We really didn't do anything on the top other than I kind of worked the center point here, made it a little bit sharper. Um, one of the things that you need to take into consideration is when you start trimming one side versus another side, you can actually take this center point, this peak, and actually start deviating it. So as you can see, I ran a piece of tape just to make sure that it was straight because that's kind of a big deal. So, and that's one of those things that in body work, you can, you can work this thing. And you can actually block, there's gel coat on here, you can actually block it down. And there's enough fudge room in here that you can move this thing, you know, a, a sixteenth of an inch or so, either way, kind of stuff. So, anyway, so what we ended up doing was there's a this center support in here that holds the latch support here. Up between it and the upper header panel, we added those shims in there. And that gave us the height that we absolutely needed in the peak to be like ab just dead nuts perfect. As you can see, this side's really, really, really good. This side's pretty good. The, the nose piece has a little bit of a swale in it here. And we can actually block that, uh, add some filler, block it, make it absolutely perfect. Side gap looks really good. And the bottom is is... God damn, it's perfect. So what we were able to do on this thing, excuse me, from peak to bottom peak by adding some shims and kind of tweaking the bottom balance down slightly. So basically we opened the mouth of the front of this thing. By doing that, we added about three sixteenths of an inch to it. And that was all the difference to making this thing 
fit super good. So it's a little tight on, on, on this side here. So what we'll do is we'll come in and, and, and scribe this in. So that way we have a uniform gap all the way around. I, I don't like it to be completely tight to the body because the mounting tabs aren't as stout as they probably could be, should be. Um, and, and it might rub on the paint a little bit. So I like to leave about this much of a gap. And I'm going to say I was going to say 3 sixteenths of an inch, but it's a, it's, it's between an eighth and a 3 sixteenths of an inch. And, you know, and we'll work this gap all the way across once we do all the finish stuff on it. But I mean, realistically, you know, this thing can just be painted and put on here at this point. You know, maybe play around with the edges just a little bit. Um, I like to go through and, 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 and soften the sharp edge on this here, just because it's got a rounded edge on the header panel, a little sharp, softer edge there. And um, so for at this point, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill these holes, mounting holes into the valance uh, tabs and mount them solidly. And I'll actually take these mounts on the, on the, on the valances and I'll actually bend them in slightly to make this thing tight. And then if you need to, you can actually put washers or shims or in there to, to space this thing out. Um, so anyway, so that's what we'll do. We'll do the finish and get this thing all bolted in place. And we'll go from there. And once we got the fit absolutely good, you know, we'll sit and we'll come in, we'll block sand this thing. Even if, even if you're not going to do any body work to it, go back and block it with like a 320, prime it and, and then seal it, paint it and you're good to go. So anyways, I hope that helps. And if you're working on one for yourself, uh, let me know how it works out for you. And we appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all those good things. Thank you.